The Western Shelter System HVAC unit offers 42,000 BTUs an hour of heating, 3.5 tons of cooling, and a supplemental heat strip providing 11,000 BTUs an hour of rapid emergency heating. The unit runs off a 208 or 240 volt, 30 amp connection. Begin by removing the vinyl cover and orienting the unit so the circulation vents face one of the HVAC attachment points on your shelter. The main power cables and thermostat are routed around the back of the unit. The 30 amp cable can attach to either an electrical distribution box or directly to a generator with a 30 amp output. In the green vinyl pouch on the rear of the unit, you will find the thermostat with 50 foot cable, operations manual, and a hex driver for unit maintenance. In the side pouch are the two duct boots for attaching the HVAC unit to your shelter. The tapered boot attaches to the top of the unit, and the reinforced boot with filter screen attaches to the bottom. Also in the pouch is the P-trap for condensation discharge. Be sure the green vinyl bags are away from air intakes when the unit is operational. Located on the front side of the unit are the discharge and return ports. The air return port uses a filter identical to most home systems that can easily be replaced. To replace the air filter, unscrew the four hex bolts securing the front port cover. Inside the cover is the air filter. Pull up on the filter, then out on the bottom to remove it. Place a new filter in top end first and push up to fit into place. With the front cover off, you can see the emergency heating and cooling elements. They should be free from dust and debris, and the whole unit should be professionally serviced annually. To change between 208 volt and 240 volt operation, detach the panel with shock hazard warnings located next to where the power cables come out of the unit. Be absolutely sure the unit is disconnected. Inside, locate the red wire with white clip running to a transformer with two leads. The leads are printed 208 and 240. When using a single phase generator, locate the wire on the 240 volt connection. When using a three phase generator, connect to the 208 volt connection. The unit comes preset to the 208 volt connection. The emergency heat strip can be located under the small panel above the emergency heat power notice. When operating in conditions under 40 degrees, the emergency heat is recommended to keep the unit running well. Other features include carrying handles for moving over rough terrain and locking rear wheels. A stackable version of the HVAC unit is also available. The HVAC unit attaches to any of the duct boot openings located around any Western Shelter System shelter. To eliminate trip hazard, it is recommended the HVAC unit be positioned away from the most used doorways, if possible. To access the duct boot openings, remove the vinyl square covers from both ports and the square insulation panels, if installed. They can be stored in the duct boot bag on the HVAC unit so they won't get lost. If you're using an air plenum, install it now. The instructional video for the air plenum is linked in the description below. Now attach the duct boots from the HVAC system to the shelter. The angled boot goes on top and the reinforced boot underneath. To attach the unit, align it with the duct boot openings about two feet away from the shelter wall. Attach the duct boot to the HVAC unit with the black nylon straps. Place the lower duct boot over the lower port, then snug the strap tight. Be sure the seal is good all around. Repeat on the top port. Move the unit back a few inches to put some tension on the boots so air will flow easily. Lock the wheels in place. Now unwrap and install the thermostat. Remove the thermostat from its vinyl bag. Make a small opening in the bottom of the upper duct opening and pass the thermostat through, along with about 15 feet of cable. Inside the shelter, string the cable over roof trusses until it is located a good distance away from the duct boots. This results in a more accurate reading of the shelter temperature. The thermostat has very simple controls. The button under System switches between Cool, Heat, Emergency Heat, and Off. The fan is wired to always operate, so the fan button is not used. The up and down buttons set the desired temperature. The system is designed to go into emergency heating mode, if available, when the ambient temperature is more than 6 degrees cooler than the temperature set on the thermostat. Outside the shelter, attach the condensation P-trap by filling it with water, capping one end with your hand, and firmly pushing the non-threaded end into the drain. A standard garden hose can be attached to drain water away from the shelter base. If you are drawing power directly from a generator, attach the power cable from the HVAC system to your generator. Generator operation is not covered in this video and should be performed by a trained individual. You can also attach the system to an electrical distribution box. 
Either way, the main power from the unit comes from a 30 amp outlet, and the emergency heating, if desired, from a 50 amp outlet. Once the system is fully wired and power is running to the unit, set the desired temperature and system state on the thermostat. The unit is designed not to change state more than once every three minutes, so it may take up to three minutes for the HVAC unit to begin operating. This concludes the instructional video for the Western Shelter Systems HVAC unit. Thanks for watching.